So why did I make this video on this motherboard? It's not because of how unusual the motherboard is or how great it is or how well it runs. It was sort of the comedy of errors that led up to this. So I found the Enforce 2 motherboard inside an e-machines and I do have a shorts up um, coming up about that find. And I was very excited about finally getting a socket A motherboard that actually worked. I have several AMD CPUs, I have Duron, I have um, XPs, um, I have an Athlon, and in that e-machine there was a Simpron. And I said, wow, this is a great motherboard with a great IGP, integrated graphics. Uh, sort of on par with the GeForce 4, MX, 4400, 4300, um, 400, 440, 430, you know, type speed. And the motherboard was DOA. I tried every combination I could think of. I tried different RAM combinations in addition to the stick that it came with and nothing. Wouldn't even post. I dug out an older socket A motherboard I had that actually was in my disposal box to go to the scrapyard on my next visit. And it had an Athlon XP 3000 Plus in there. And just on a whim, I took the Sempron 3000 out of the Enforce 2 board and I put it in the Asus board, which actually is an HP OEM version of an Asus board. And lo and behold, it posted. So out of one motherboard that I was really excited about, thought I've got a great platform for Windows XP games. Um, I mean, it's nothing like integrated GeForce 4 graphics, right? On a motherboard. Um, I did come up with a motherboard that works. And I said, well, as long as I've got this motherboard that works, I might as well bench the integrated graphics and just see where that is. And as you'll see, it's fairly horrible. Um, you know, I did do um, 3D Mark 2001 SE and the results were not spectacular. Um, the board will not run with the... Athlon XP series. It will only run with this Sempron. I have no idea why. I'm not going to question Providence. I'm just going to run with it. I have a socket A. I have a Sempron 3000 that works. I could put other motherboards in there, AGP, PCI, excuse me, video cards, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I didn't film it intending to post it, but I thought maybe a uh, day in the life of Uncle Mike's computer lab um, might be interesting to some. And um, with all the uh, Socket to Me 7 videos coming out this morning, November 7th, which I encourage everyone to go out and watch, I wanted to, you know, put something out there and just have a little fun. So, with that being said, here we go. Hello, everyone. So this is my only working socket A motherboard. It actually came back to life this morning while I was testing another motherboard that I found on a scrapyard trip just this Friday. And that board unfortunately appears to be dead. Uh, that was my Enforce 2 board out of the E-Machines computer. This one, however, I've had for a while. I actually had two of them. I had this and its twin. The twin was completely dead, but now I wonder if it actually was. This one, though, is an Asus A7V8XLA. And it's actually a Hewlett Packard OEM version of the Asus A7V8X. Um, the things that are different is it uses the VIA 4-in-1 chipset, but it maxes out at 333 megahertz DDR RAM. It does not support the 400 megahertz RAM. I think where I was going wrong before was that I was trying to run an Athlon XP 3000, which runs on the 400 megahertz memory bus. Well, 200 megahertz times two 400 megahertz bus. This chipset does not support that. So every time I try to boot, I would get nothing. No beeps, nothing, just spin fans and blank screen. However, when I switched up to the uh, DDR333 RAM, and I finally found two sticks that work. I found two Samsung sticks. They're not exactly the same, but when I use these two, I can actually get a gig of RAM. Um, she booted right up, um, but not with the 
Athlon XP3000, I actually had to switch off to an Athlon Sempron 3000. Now that worked. So we have a functioning system. However, the audio gave me grief. It refused to recognize my speakers, even though all the drivers were installed. So I switched off to a Sound Blaster Audigy LE card, a stripped down version of the Audigy card. And this card has been working well. So turn off the internal audio, switch to the Audigy LE using the Sempron 3000. And then I haven't added a video card to this yet. I'm not going to bother. And the reason being is I have a faster, more capable Pentium 4 Windows XP machine. But I installed Windows XP on this. I also, and you'll see in some of the clips that I recorded, I wanted to update the BIOS. Now the BIOS in this motherboard though is not the same as the Asus BIOS. You cannot switch the BIOSes. So I had to dig into the Internet Archives to find the HP Windows executable that updated the BIOS to version 3.15 from version 3.03, .03, so it had an original version, updated it within the Windows XP environment. So I got that all accomplished, installed all the drivers. I did run um, 3D Mark 2001 SE benchmark, and then I did benchmark Quake 2, but I had to benchmark Quake 2 on this video chip in software mode because the OpenGL refused to run. So there we have it. Uh, just a quick little video on this motherboard. Like I said, it's my only socket A. So if we ever do a socket A build off, I should be ready to go.